This is another adventure into Whitewater Bay in Everglades National Park. Memorial Day weekend, 2017, Saturday. As I was cutting through Tarpon Creek on my way out to the fishing grounds, I came across these aquatic mammals who swam along with me for most of the length of the creek. Got the camera out, got them on film pod of four, may have been five, but I know there were definitely four. Stay with me for a while. They were not the only critters that I saw besides fish. We had a skate, two different types of turtles, and what I believe might have been a mink. If I can find the clip, I will get it posted in a separate video. Anyhow, Appreciate y'all coming along. Let's head on out to the fishing grounds. They're going. There's something here. Let's see what we got. Uh, kind of surprised he hit that, but that was nice. Well, I don't know where they went, but I don't see them right now. Water here is probably three to four feet deep. Beautiful day. You can see it. It's slick calm. See the snappers right there? They come back. You get a jerk chat a few more attempts. Something just struck it. Had a, there's, no, there's another bite on it. I think I got it that time. Nope, let go. Must be something small. Just grabbing onto the tail. Fortunately, it didn't bite the tail off. See the little snappers coming back again. I had picked up a couple dozen live shrimp as I headed out to the Everglades, but I started off the morning fishing a topwater lure, a spook junior in a gold and black pattern, and also some gulp jerk shad, five inch new penny. Well, we got something here, let's see what we got. It's a small speckle. First speckle of the day. How big he is. Uh, maybe 13 inches. Oh, that was a nice strike. Very nice strike. What have we got here? I've got a catfish. Ah, darn it. Well, they have to eat also.
fish finally. It looks like this is a trout. how long he is. Seventeen inches. Oh boy. That was a long cast and I got the fish on. Let's see what we got here. Looks like it's a snapper. Yep. And a small one at that. Since the bite was relatively slow where I had started fishing, I changed locations, ran over and peeked out into the Gulf of Mexico and came back and decided to fish one of the mouths of the Shark River. There's someone. What do we got here? Uh, a little jack, I believe. That area didn't prove all that productive, so I cut into Oyster Bay and started doing some exploring, trying some different techniques. Spent a couple hours in there just looking around, trying to get an idea of the topography and the bottom content. Didn't catch any fish, so I came back to an area where I knew that I could wrap up the day with some small snappers. And who knows, you might get lucky and get a decent size one. Good fight. I'm sure he's too small.
quarter inch shot. Fish. Ah. Fish on. Missouri lure. As the day was wearing on, I changed locations, moved over to another cove, and started fan casting. What do we got here? Another catfish? Come on! Unbelievable. A catfish. See this? Catfish hits a Yozuri lure. Actually, that's probably a good credit to the quality of Yozuri lures. Blue water 
technique. Well, it was something different to try, and it didn't produce any results either. Oh well. Well, that's another day's adventure in Everglades National Park, Whitewater Bay. This is Tarpon Creek, by the way. Three fish in the cooler, one trout, two snappers. Not a whole lot, but it's something. Great day out on the water. Weather cooperated. I did poke my nose out into uh, the Gulf of Mexico. A little choppy out there, so I came back in. Did some exploring in Oyster Bay. Didn't find any fish there, but it doesn't mean there aren't some. I just need to figure out a technique and work and a location. So. All in all, fantastic day. I appreciate y'all watching this video, joining me today, wishing everybody bent rods, tight lines.